Okay, we're going to show you three different options for a French door, and we're going to use different uh, mesh types. This mesh type happens to be the mosquito mesh, and it's essentially just two panels that meet in the center, and it's on a tracking system. The sides here are snapped to one edge, and when you undermount this track, just undermount it to the underside of the header beam as far out as possible so that we can run past this molding right here and snap to these outside edges. And in the center, we have a magnetic door. Um, the magnetic door, uh, where's Mr. Hollywood there? See, look, it even sealed by itself. The magnetic door has fiberglass rods and marine snaps. So you just jerk and pull, and we'll give you some tie-up straps to tie it back here. That's it, that's all there is to it. That's a French door. Okay, for this next option, we're gonna use a shade mesh. I thought, what the heck? Let's just show you how this whole thing installed. Remember, the track is undermounted to the header as far out as you can so that we can run past this edge. What I've done is I've left a little two inch gap on this side. I'm gonna put an end cap on here eventually, but let's just show you how this thing goes. Slide the carriers in. All right, now I've already placed marine snaps on this side. For this kind of height, I, I just use three. Put a little tension in between them so that this lays nice and flat. Now, remember on this option here, we're going to create a little mini panel here that we call stucco strip. Stucco strips is a three inch piece of webbing. The purpose of this is, um, in this, some people don't want to have a seam right in the middle. They want to open it from one side so that this is all seamless. So I'm going to snap this stucco strip in place. Now I magnet to one side, that's it. Now this black shade mesh is a very heavy look from the outside looking in. In a moment, we're going to show you the visibility from the inside looking out. As you can see, it offers a little bit of privacy as well. Maybe that's to your advantage. Um, and to open it, it just goes over the side. We'll give you a tie-up strap and tie it up here. If you want to close it, just get these guys close. They close. Okay, this is our final option here for a French door. Um, this is a Velcro mount. It doesn't use the tracking that's undermounted. Instead, we have Velcro that's side mounted to the outer face, okay? Here's a panel. Snap it right there. And just stretch it across our Velcro. Three snaps. And it'll snap on the bottom. Okay, so there's my magnetic doorway. It all goes together. Now, the thing about this is that when it's not in use, it doesn't slide. The top will never slide. You can pull it back to some limited amount, like this and use a tie-up strap to tie it around. Um, but there's another trick. We got, actually got this from a client. What he did is he put a marine snap right here. What he did is he unsnapped this like a gate. He flipped it around, he put another marine snap just up above, and he did a little flip like this. Now it draws back a little tighter, almost like tracking. A little bit more work, but much and now it's further out of the way once again you have a party or something and you just don't need it it all comes down easy enough this is the black noceum mesh it keeps out those little tiny biting flies called noceums they're so so small they can get through the mosquito mesh you can't get through this it's a beautiful material it looks like a black shear uh, but if you don't have this kind of bug, I would probably stick with the mosquito mesh because you get a little bit better airflow. That's it. And this is the view from the inside looking out. 
So when the light is much stronger on the opposite side, it's very, very clear to see through. And again, just open the curtain. You can see the difference there. We want to close the curtain. Magnetic doorway. There we go. Thanks.